Cloud for Good News, Arizona. Good evening, Arizona. Good afternoon. I'm your host. I'm Chris Dunham, and you're not. No, my driver's license says I'm Dean Naughton. The legendary Dean Naughton. It does say legendary on it, which took extra money at the DMV. Did you know there's somebody in California who took a driver's license photo with a mask on? So she has a driver's license photo with a mask on. Dude, you know how much speeding tickets I could get out of? You know how much speeding tickets you get out of if you wear a Zagoni mask while driving? Just saying. That That's was a plug for Zagoni. That was a plug for Zagoni. We love you guys we over do. there at Zagoni. Right. Because you make our faces look better. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Alright. There you go. As a reminder, reminder, if you want to be on our not so live studio audience, please send us your pretty fit faces. We right. will take those pictures, slap them on the wall, and make you feel loved. We'll put you on the wall. And you know what? Good news, Arizona. Run your race. AZ has two live races coming up. One in March, one in April. There's the really? picks. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Ah, that's good news. Right, yeah, are they like, are they going to be race races or are they going to be like race on your own? No, they're race races. They're live. There you go. Get in shape. Let's go for this. Right, Next up, you. Good News Arizona. What? We all gave you the dates. Oh, right. One of the races is on March 20th. Yep. I won't be ready. No. The next one will be April 17th. Right. Is yeah. it like a full? Half? It's, it's a 5K, man. I can do a 5K. It's, it's family friendly fun. Family friendly fun. Register at runyouraceaz.com. Yep. Right. Yeah. Runyouraceaz.com. Right there, Hunter. Right bling. 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 Yep. All right, you're up. Good news, Arizona. You can build an eagle out of milk jugs, and here's proof of that. Thank you, Thomas Kittredge. There's a picture. There's got to be a picture about that. I'm interested to see that one. All right. Good news, Arizona. Chris Dunham. Yeah. Not this Chris no, Dunham. No. The other Chris right. Dunham from the Midwest yes. shared with us an amazing snowman sculpture of Iwo Jima. Of Iwo Jima. You know when they're raising the flag? Oh, Iwo Jima snow yeah, see it? snowman. Snowman. Yeah. Pick. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, because it, it melt here. Yes. Yeah. So, good job, Chris. So, yeah, good job, Chris. Thank you, me. Props. Chris 2.0. Hey, good news, Arizona. JJ turned 16 uh, last week. He's a cool kid from our, our my lifelong friend of mine and a friend of the show. Damn, Gina. So happy birthday, JJ. <laughs> Did he pick up also the name or just JJ? Yeah, that's what she says. His name's JJ. 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 Happy birthday, JJ. Happy birthday, JJ. Good news, Arizona. Friend of the show, Nick Yale. Yep. Likes cashews yep. from Costco. There you go. That is true. They are good cashews. And and, and then and then hey, here's the March birthdays. Yeah, that was yeah. a lot of birthday in. Yeah, and now a was, lot of people were born in March. I know, right? I also hear that there's been a lot of new births. Probably, like first rounders. First rounders. Yeah, people who turn one. Kids oh, who turn one. Oh, turn one in March. Yeah, because of uh, the whole COVID thing and not enough Dish TV. So you're saying people are fraternizing when they were locked up in COVID. I'm not saying that. Gotcha. Our live studio guest audience, Kirsten, saying that. <laughs> hey, guess what time it is now, Dean? It is time for live on, on location. location. What? We're about to do. So you don't want to do the oh, live yeah. on location? No. All you got to do is say this is Kirsten, not in live I know, on location. I know, it's not difficult. It's just not my purpose. So no live on location for Kirsten? No. Okay. We'll have to find one. Wow. That? You know what? That? I'm going to get in trouble for that one. Yeah, yeah. usually. Yeah. You're dead Blame it all on me. Oh, you will. Okay, I am. I'm cool with that. Every day of the week, I blame it on week. you. Monday through Even when you're not available, I still blame things on you. Except after seven on Sundays because I don't work. Huh? Yeah. I have so I have to blame all the way up until seven on Sunday. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Then who do I blame after seven? Marco Ola. <laughs> Yes. yes, I'm so scared of rapid fire. Let's do this it. This is rapid fire phobia. No, we have to use our scripts because these words are interesting. Um, Cosa silica phobia is the fear of ladybugs. How could you be afraid of a ladybug? They're so cute little tiny little ones. Have you seen bug? Have, have you seen the movie bug? I've seen the movie. It's bug. a documentary. It is. The ladybugs aren't so lady. <laughs> I don't know. Mine's up. I'm a Trichophobia. Yes. The fear of eyebrows. Eyebrows. I'm moving mine right now, unlike my sister who can't. True. Oh, really? Yes. That's too much Botox? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Dean's sister. I'm going to pay for that one. Hey, you can hey, blame Chris hey. up until 7 on Sunday. Abophobia. The fear of. A. Po e po fear of. I don't even know how to say palindromes. Fear of palindromes. Is that how you say that? 
Yeah. If you're a palindrome. Is that how you say that, honey? I don't know what a palindrome is. But What's a palindrome? Seriously? Yeah. yeah. It's when the word is spelled the same way forward as ours. Oh, like zero res. And sons. Like race car. Race car. Palindrome. Race car. Zoom, zoom. Palindrome. <laughs> This one's a trip. We thought it was something completely different, and it's not. I didn't know this was possible. Right. Ammo phobia. The fear of what? It is the fear of walking on sand. And we automatically assume ammo phobia would be, be the fear, the fear of, of lead or ammo or guns. Well, no guns, lead. ammo. Yeah, lead. Fear of lead. We'll go that way. Superman. Next. This one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad this one's yours. Cocklophobia. It's the fear of hats. I don't have a fear of hats. How do you have a fear of hats? Cocklophobia. Fear of hats. I Is it like know. people wearing hats or you I wearing hats? I don't know because I don't have the fear, man. Okay, clearly. All right, next up. Good luck with this one, people. Yep, yep. Sound and I out. apologize. Sound it out, dude. Oh, yeah. That's, that seems to be a weird pressure thing here. S. Equestraflatuphobia. Kids. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It is the fear of horse farts. The fear of horse farts. Now, who comes up with this crap besides you? Hunter, if you could put a horse is caboose right here. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know. Save me. A luck. Save me. Electrophobia. Electrophobia. A fear of chickens. Now, Dean and I were discussing this, and we would have thought cocklophobia would have been fear of a chicken, and electrophobia would have been fear of a chicken. And it's sort of a lecro, a lecro. I would have been like a, a fear of Alexa. You know, hey Alexa, there's, there's got to be a fear of. Alexa. I have a fear of Alexa. She knows a lot, dude. That's like Satan right there. They chase you. That's she you know follows that is? me. You know what that is? Uh, that's that's the Terminator thing. <gasps> Cyberdyne Industries. Yeah, Skynet. Skynet. <gasps> it's real, man. Get I made my son watch all Terminator shows Good so job. he wouldn't create Skynet. Good job. Will? Good parenting. Right? Yes, Will. That's like Good Will Hunting. Oh, that's a great movie. See? Let's sidetrack. Let's sidetrack. That one's a great It's a good movie. That's a good movie. And you know who won Oscars for that? Robin. Ben Affleck and Matt Damon for screenwriting it, and then Robin Williams won for Best Actor. That was their- I miss him. That was their- uh, he, I know this is good news, Arizona, but I do miss that man. Good, we, he He's a good man. man. He was a good man. All right, I what love. do we got for top 10? Top 10 villains of all time! Woo! <laughs> Villains of all time with a little oh, homage to David Letterman. David Letterman. How do we do David Letterman and top villain? Because that's what I chose for today. Is David Letterman on this list? No, because he's not a villain. Okay, good. Then a little... We love you, Dave. Love you, Dave. Hashtag Dave love. Number 10. Oh, I... Samara mean... Morgan from The Ring. The freaky chick from The Ring with the black coat. Never seen it. Never gonna. I'm a scaredy cat. He is a scaredy cat. Number 9. Ooh, I have seen this one, yep. and this one increased my scaredy catness. Yep. Dr. Han... Hannibal. Hannibal Lecter only yeah. made nine? He is like number one in the world. But check it out. The house where, where Buffalo Bill lived in that movie yeah. is for sale. And or or it's or it's a bed and breakfast now. Either way, you can go. No, you cannot. I think it'd be fun. You cannot. This is good news, Arizona. We're trying to just save you from that scary moment. Number eight. Eight. J Jafar from Robin Williams. Oh, right. Oh, I love that one. Right. Jafar. Okay. Jafar. All right. Yeah. Number seven, also a Disney favorite. Right. Scar. Lion King. Lion King. Lion King. I like that he one. A, he was a bastard, man. He he was rough. And I can say that because it's not a bad word. Number six, Agent Smith from The Matrix. One of my favorites. Right. Dang, dude. Outstanding. Love that one. The first one, though, I you went too far with number two and three, man. Just do number one and leave it alone. It's like Rocky's legacy would be Rocky, but he had to do more. True first, that. Rambo. You should have. I don't one. know. Rambo 3 was yeah. hysterical. Yeah, but it wasn't supposed to be hysterical. That was the problem. It was a drama. Oh, it wasn't a comedy. This is the top 10 villains of all time. <laughs> Number 5. Shredder from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Yeah, right. Like, he's not a bitch. He's a it villain. He was a joke. He was a villain. Okay. Number four, Clubber Lang from Rocky Three. Clubber Lang. Mr. T's character. Oh! See? Oh, yeah! If okay. it wasn't for Rocky Three, Mr. T wouldn't be Mr. T, so that kind of goes back to other discussion. If we would have just left Rocky alone, just leave it there, then you never would have had Mr. Three. T. Then, but we wouldn't have 18. But then we wouldn't have DC Cap because he was also DC Cap. There you be. Remember that? Number three yeah. of villains of all time yep. was Ivan Drago from Rocky Number. Four, which I have to admit is my favorite one. I'm Drago. In I must break you. I must break you. I must break you. It really works better if I'm taller. Yeah, okay. I must break you. Oh. Say, there you go. Number. There you go. Number two of the top ten worst villains. Really? <laughs> Only two? Well, you'll see you and I on number one. Number two, Darth Vader. 
You know why, probably because the dark side never won. And if I was writing one of the Star Wars movies in the trilogy thing, I would have made the dark side win at least once. Just to keep it real, it man. It won lots of times. Just to keep it real. No, That's how it got to go to the end. No, because at the end, it always ended up being the rebellion. Why is the good people the rebellion? I don't know. Why aren't the bad people the rebellion? Exactly. The good people the empire. Right. The Empire. Maybe it was. It should have been. Maybe it's plot twist. It, it should have been. On the next one. Maybe not. There's no more. Oh. It's over. It's done. Oh. It's fizzled out. Miss that. It's, it's Go like, Mandalorian. Right. Number one. Number one. Super villain <laughs> of all time. I don't even know who this guy is. <laughs> but, but the viewers do. The number one villain yep. of all time right. is Walter White <laughs> from, Breaking, from Bad. Breaking Bad. People know. People know. People out there know. Walter Wright, the Brian Cranston's character Breaking Bad, he was a cancer dude that had to make meth in order to pay for treatments and stuff. I could never watch it because he was hit too close to home, obviously, but... I don't, they Breaking voted Bad. that. They voted Breaking him Bad. over Darth Vader. Yeah. Darth Vader. Since I, the I, 70s, I, I Darth found, Vader's been a bad I guy. I found a, this top 10 list, I was like, what? <laughs> On the Google machine. On the Google machine. Yeah, and today's show is brought to you by Three Hole Punch. <laughs> Two is sometimes just not enough. Right, you gotta have three whole punch, man. <laughs> I'm still Chris Dunham. He's still the legendary Dean Naughton. Be sure to like us on Facebook, yeah. it YouTube, Instagram, yeah. uh, w train w stations, w whatever. There you go. And until next time, see, see ya. ya. Isn't it so cute? <laughs> Who's the cutest? Who's the cutest? Oh my gosh. Oh.